Hello, Cosmos Enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the mysteries of the universe. In today's episode, we're tackling a groundbreaking revelation that has everyone talking. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has reportedly discovered 750 galaxies that appear to be located outside our known universe. Joined by insights from renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, we're here to explore what this means and why it might just challenge our understanding of the Big Bang Thory. So, let's get started. Let's dial our telescopes into the very birth of galaxies. Oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're uncovering galaxies from the cosmic dark ages, delving deep into the mysteries of our universe's inception. Historically, the Big Bang Theory has served as the cornerstone explanation for the universe's origins. This theory has been bolstered by countless studies and the relentless dedication of thousands of scientists, providing a robust framework for understanding how the universe sprang to life. Yet, the scientific field of today is vastly different from years past. With relentless technological advancements, new theories emerge, challenging long-held beliefs and reshaping our understanding of what was once considered absolute. In this dynamic scientific arena, where discoveries constantly redefine our perspective of the cosmos, Neil deGrasse Tyson stands as a leading figure. A recent breakthrough has thrust us into re-evaluating the well-established Big Bang Theory. The revelation comes courtesy of the James Webb Space Telescope, which has discovered a staggering 750 new galaxies. These aren't just any galaxies. They defy every expectation and challenge our fundamental understandings of galactic formation. By the way, it's the James Webb Space Telescope that's bringing these revelations to light. Conceived and designed to decipher the origins of galaxies, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is doing exactly that, making us scratch our heads in amazement. Join us as we delve into how the JWST's latest images are shaking up the traditional views held by the Big Bang Theory. For years, the Big Bang Theory has reigned as the predominant explanation for our universe's vast beginnings. This theory suggests that about 14 billion years ago, the universe burst into existence from a singular, mysterious cosmic event, the ultimate origin story of the cosmos. Yet, the surprising details captured by the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging this long-held narrative. The 750 newly discovered galaxies revealed by the JWST present a conundrum. They appear too small, too smooth, too old, and far too numerous compared to what the Big Bang Theory would predict. These characteristics defy the expected models of galactic formation in an expanding universe, where galaxies are presumed to appear larger the further away they are. This groundbreaking discovery invites us to rethink our foundational understandings of cosmic evolution. It suggests that the very fabric of the universe, with all its matter, energy, and fundamental components, might have followed a trajectory quite different from what we've always imagined. Join us as we explore these cosmic revelations and reconsider the universe's grand narrative. Imagine a point so tiny yet so dense that it contains the entire universe's mass and energy compressed into an almost incomprehensible state. This point is known as a singularity, a place of infinite density where the laws of physics, as we understand them, buckle under the immense pressure and temperature. When we talk about infinite density, we mean that matter and energy were squeezed so tightly together that their density skyrocketed to extremes. This concept of a singularity springs from our grasp of physics, particularly from the equations of general relativity proposed by Albert Einstein. Inside this singularity, all the matter and energy that constitute our universe existed in an extraordinarily compressed form, packed into an infinitesimally small space. Despite the minimal space, the colossal pressure and density created unfathomable heat, hotter than anything we can observe or replicate with today's technology. This intense, hot, dense point was like a cosmic seed, containing all the energy necessary to kickstart the universe's vast expansion. That's why the singularity is often celebrated as the very beginning of everything we know, 
a moment when the universe began to unfold into the vast cosmos we explore today. From the explosive moment of the initial singularity, our universe embarked on an epic journey of expansion and transformation, unfolding over approximately 13, 7 billion years into the cosmos we explore today. This monumental journey began with a phase known as cosmic inflation, an extraordinary burst of rapid expansion that saw the universe growing at a rate exceeding even the speed of light. It was as if the very fabric of space itself was being stretched, pulling everything along with it. Cosmic inflation was crucial in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. It ironed out irregularities, homogenized the distribution of matter and energy, and laid the groundwork for the later formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. As this explosive phase wound down, the universe's rate of expansion slowed, yet it has never stopped. The universe continues to expand even now, albeit at a more measured pace. This information highlights a dynamic cosmos, constantly stretching and evolving from that singular origin to the vast, intricate expanse we strive to understand today. This ongoing phenomenon is known as cosmic expansion, a fundamental aspect of our universe that scientists have meticulously observed and documented. One key evidence of this expansion is the redshift observed in the light from distant galaxies. As the universe expands, light waves traveling through space are stretched, causing them to shift toward the longer, redder wavelengths of the spectrum. We'll dive deeper into the mechanics of redshift later in this video. Turning our gaze to the stunning visuals from the James Webb Space Telescope, the images of new galaxies are nothing short of spectacular. Capturing hundreds of galaxies in a single frame, these photos radiate a powerful beauty that's hard to overlook. To the casual observer, these images are a breathtaking glimpse into the depths of space. However, for researchers, the reaction is quite different. To scientists, these images present a puzzling anomaly. The galaxies captured by the JWST don't align with existing scientific predictions. Instead, what they reveal is both unexpected and intriguing, a plethora of galaxies that are smoother, smaller, and older than previously thought. This surprising data has sent a ripple of excitement and a fair bit of panic through the scientific community as it challenges and perhaps reshapes our understanding of the universe. The scientific community is buzzing and the tension is palpable. One research paper even features the word panic prominently in its title, underscoring the gravity of recent discoveries. The galaxies captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, defy conventional expectations. They simply don't match the profiles they're supposed to. The age of these observed galaxies is particularly baffling. The JWST has revealed the presence of galaxies that seem far older than expected, throwing a wrench into the conventional timeline of galaxy formation and evolution posited by the Big Bang Theory. Moreover, the sheer number of galaxies observed is astonishingly high, far exceeding predictions. According to the Big Bang hypothesis, there should be a specific distribution and density of galaxies, correlating with the universe's expansion and evolution. However, the JWST's images showcase an overwhelming multitude of galaxies, prompting a re-evaluation of these long-standing predictions. Additionally, the uniformity observed in these galaxies is completely unexpected. The Big Bang theory suggests that galaxies should display a mix of irregularities and variations in their structures, shaped by the dynamics of their formation and evolution. Yet, what the JWST reveals are galaxies that are remarkably smooth, further challenging the established scientific narrative and sparking intense debate and re-examination among astrophysicists. The galaxies revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope exhibit an unusual smoothness, lacking the complexity and ruggedness typically expected from cosmic formations. According to the Big Bang nucleosynthesis theory, during the universe's rapid expansion, all the matter that constitutes our cosmos was compressed into an infinitesimally small space. In such extreme conditions, matter as we know it couldn't exist unchanged, something had to give. 
As the universe expanded and began to cool, transformative processes kicked into gear. Fundamental particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons started interacting with light and energy in their environments. These interactions were crucial in shaping the universe's initial matter formation. In the critical first few minutes following the Big Bang, a process known as nucleosynthesis occurred. This pivotal phase involved the creation of lightweight elements such as hydrogen and helium. The extreme temperatures and conditions allowed for the fusion of protons and neutrons to form these simple atomic building blocks. Hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, primarily formed during this early period. Helium, the second most abundant element, also emerged. These elements were foundational, setting the stage for the later formation of stars, galaxies, and the more complex elements that would populate the cosmic landscape. The synthesis of these elemental building blocks was a critical step in our universe's grand history, leading to the rich tapestry of celestial bodies we observe today. From a chaotic, primordial sea of particles and energy, the early universe underwent a remarkable transformation, evolving into a state where matter began to take definitive shape. This transition marked a significant milestone, laying the groundwork for the rich diversity of matter and the vast cosmic structures that would eventually emerge. Historically, Big Bang theorists expected to observe galaxies that were twisted and mangled from numerous collisions, a chaotic past written in the stars. However, the images from the James Webb Space Telescope tell a different tale. Instead of the anticipated chaotic and disheveled galaxies, the telescope has unveiled overwhelmingly smooth disks and well-organized spiral forms that mirror the mature galaxies seen in today's universe. This unexpected revelation challenges the prevailing belief that mergers are a common and necessary process in the evolution of galaxies. The smooth and orderly nature of these newly observed galaxies suggests that they have not endured the turbulent mergers traditionally associated with galactic evolution, according to the Big Bang model. If mergers are indeed rare or non-existent, it casts doubt on how tiny, nascent galaxies can evolve into the vast, complex structures that are hundreds of times larger. This intriguing observation compels us to reconsider some of the foundational aspects of cosmic evolution and the mechanisms by which galaxies grow and change. This suggests that these galaxies may not have started as tiny structures at all. Additionally, the optical illusion predicted by the expanding universe hypothesis where objects should appear smaller as they are farther away, isn't holding up as expected. As astronomers have mapped the cosmos with increasing precision, they've uncovered a fascinating pattern in the large-scale structure of the universe. Galaxies tend to cluster together in massive groups, clusters, and superclusters, creating intricate web-like networks that stretch across the cosmos. Interestingly, this observed structure aligns with certain predictions of the Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, the universe began in an incredibly dense and hot state, which then expanded and cooled over billions of years. During this expansion, gravity played a crucial role in shaping the universe's structure, drawing matter together and forming galaxies in specific regions. The gravitational effects predicted by the Big Bang Theory are consistent with what we see today. Gravity pulls galaxies into clusters and arranges them into filament-like structures that connect across vast distances, creating the cosmic web that defines our universe. These structures reveal the intricate cosmic web that forms the backbone of our universe. The presence of galaxy clusters and the interconnected web of matter strongly supports the Big Bang Theory. The way galaxies form and are distributed across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from the dense expanding state described by the theory. The clustering of galaxies, the cosmic web-like structure, and the distribution of galaxy clusters all point to the idea that the universe evolved from an extremely dense primordial state and has been expanding over billions of years. However, when you take a closer look at the galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, a different picture emerges one that challenges the assumptions we've held for so long. 
According to Big Bang theorists, these small galaxies should grow and evolve into the larger galaxies we see today through processes like collisions and mergers. To visualize this idea, imagine a magical toy car that starts as a tiny one centimeter vehicle but gradually grows into something much larger. Yet, the smooth, well-organized galaxies observed by the JWST seem to defy this narrative. Instead of chaotic, collision-driven growth, these galaxies suggest a reality that doesn't quite fit with the conventional Big Bang timeline, prompting a re-evaluation of what we thought we knew about the universe's evolution. The idea is that these small galaxies, like a toy car that turns into a full-size SUV by crashing into other cars and gaining size along the way, should show signs of collisions. But here's the catch. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations are casting serious doubt on this merger process. If the Big Bang toy car analogy held true, we'd expect to see clear evidence of these cosmic crashes and interactions. So, is the Big Bang theory just clever wordplay? Actually, it's backed by some compelling evidence. First, the redshift of light from distant galaxies supports the theory by showing that galaxies are moving away from each other in all directions strong evidence that the universe is expanding, just as predicted. Another point of support is the abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium, which aligns with what the Big Bang theory predicts for the early universe. On top of that, the large-scale distribution of galaxies mapped out by astronomical surveys fits the patterns expected from the Big Bang's expansion model. One of the most significant pieces of evidence involves how these observations tie together to create a consistent narrative for the universe's evolution. Despite the surprises the JWST has brought to light, the foundational principles of the Big Bang still have solid backing, even if we may need to rethink some details. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for the Big Bang theory is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is a faint radiation that permeates the entire universe, representing the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. First detected in 1965, this cosmic radiation has been thoroughly studied, and its characteristics align almost perfectly with what the Big Bang theory predicts, providing powerful confirmation of the theory's validity. The observed patterns in the CMB, including its near uniformity and subtle variations in temperature, strongly support the idea that the universe was once in an incredibly hot and dense state before expanding. As we discussed earlier, this rapid expansion is one of the core events described by the Big Bang. The presence of the CMB gives us a direct glimpse into the early universe, echoing the initial moments following the Big Bang. Its discovery and detailed analysis have been crucial in solidifying the Big Bang theory as the leading explanation for the origins of the cosmos. So, despite all the recent debates and surprising findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, the CMB remains a cornerstone of our understanding, reinforcing the idea that the Big Bang accurately describes how everything began. The discovery of galaxies that appear to be older than the Big Bang challenges the very foundation of the theory, suggesting that the Big Bang might not have been the beginning of everything after all. According to the Big Bang Theory, as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST looked deeper into space and further back in time, the number of observable galaxies should have decreased, eventually leading to a dark age where nothing yet existed. If we rewind time far enough, there should be a point where the universe was empty. However, recent research paints a different picture. Even when looking just a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang, Massive galaxies, as large as our Milky Way, are surprisingly common. According to one study, the JWST has revealed at least 100,000 times more galaxies at redshifts greater than 10 than predicted by existing models. The sheer abundance of these large, fully formed galaxies so soon after the supposed Big Bang throws a wrench in the timeline, raising serious doubts about the theory's validity. What's even more fascinating is that based on current scientific literature, the Big Bang theory is associated with 16 incorrect predictions 
and only one correct prediction regarding the nature of the universe. This growing list of inconsistencies suggests that we may need to rethink the origins of the cosmos and consider that the story we've been told might not be the whole truth after all. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blesovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.